our staff is dresses Indiana Jones. 1-1. Field hammers one into the gap in right center field. On the run is Hanneman at the wall, and that one is gone. Johnny Field Jr. juices one over the right center field wall, and that ball just didn't want to stay in the yard. He hits it to the deepest part of the ballpark, just clearing the hashtag hot Alabama night sign. And just like that, the Biscuits have a 1-0 lead here in the first. And in the words of Ron Burgundy, that escalated quickly. I thought that one was destined for the alley. Field apparently got way more of it than we thought, though. And now Mark Johnson comes out of the bullpen, wants a word with first base umpire Adam Beck to make sure that that thing, in fact, cleared the wall. But it took a bounce over there near the boxcar buffet. So really, no doubt about it, as Hager takes in the dirt, one ball and no strikes. So not the start that Tyler Scalina probably envisioned for himself. First batter, home run. And nobody's out here in the bottom of the first. Biscuits up, one nothing. And another bouncer. Two balls and no strikes to Hager, who is hitting 256 on the air, one home run, 13 runs batted in. Batting in the two hole tonight for the 24th time this season. And now Hager gives one a ride into deep left field, but it's well foul. Hager just a little out in front of it. And the count is now two balls and one strike. By the way, that home run, the fourth of the season for JFJ. And now Hager cranks one in the air to deep left. You can say goodbye to that one as well. And that one clears everything. The railing on top of the left field wall, the black fence separating the walkway from the train tracks, possibly even the tracks themselves. And the Biscuits go back to back for the second time this season. It's 2-0, and we don't even have an out here in the bottom of the first. 